in the last year after a set of field trials actually in Washington State last fall. The two of us decided that uh, the technology was at a point where it made sense to move from research to actually developing a commercial system. So there are a lot of systems to be designed, uh, built, you know, prototyped, tested, uh, and we're just continue cycling through that. Um, so going from the technology concept that can accomplish the task that previously was not possible to a commercial system involves just a lot of hard work, a lot of detailed engineering, and a lot of testing. There's really no substitute for getting in orchards and you know, kind of actually work in the field. So every time there's a harvest, we'll be somewhere in the world where we can, uh, can take advantage of that harvest. Um, so we plan to continue to alternate between the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere uh, as we kind of cycle through development. Robotic systems have a number of facets to them. Uh, one of them is the perception system, the ability to, to see apples in this case from leaves and trunks and twigs and, and, uh, and isolate them as individual apples and localize where they're at in the canopy. Uh, so that's the perception side and then there's the manipulation side. Uh, part of it is getting it off of the tree. So how can you get in there and invasively get the, the apple off of the tree without damaging it? based on where the perception system tells you it is. Uh, and then beyond that, once you've got the apple, then how do you get it all the way into a bin without damaging it? So those are, those are sort of the main uh, areas where we've done some innovative work and, uh, and what we think has made the difference between being able to do it and not. Well, the first advantage is that you can pick apples without damaging apples and without damaging trees. It's simply, you know, this is a type of, a type of produce that uh, has not been possible to automate before because there's always been, kind of using mechanical systems, there's always been too much damage to the fruit. We're using vacuum in a unique way to, um, to get apples off of trees and then, uh, you know, make sure that as we harvest it and get it into a bin that uh, it, uh, it comes through unscathed. So we're still working through the, the steps to do that. So we're out in the orchards this fall. We'll be in Washington State for uh, five to six weeks in September and October, harvesting in uh, a number of different conditions, different types of orchards, different varieties of fruit. Our, our goal is to have a commercial system ready within the next two years.